Hi guys, this is Joel with Guitars United. Today we have a really cool guitar. This is either a late 60s or an early 70s FG 230. And uh, this is an old Yamaha and we had a gentleman come in and wanted us to just, you know, kind of pimp it out a little bit for him. We added some ebony uh, bridge pens that have abalone on the end. Kind of a, a fairly basic guitar, but we, we love these vintage Yamahas. This is a red label and, uh, you know, to add a, add a couple little flair to it is, is not a bad thing because it's such a basic little guitar. But, you know, this thing's been around for you know, 40, 50 some years. So these things, they prove themselves to us all the time how nice these are. This has, it's, it's an all laminated guitar, so it's very strong. You can use it in camping or hiking, or I mean, whatever you want to do, this thing will, this thing will last. Um, he said it was in a storage for like 10 years and, and he comes out, we put some new strings on it, new bridge pins on it. We did lubricate the keys, they were a little tight. And uh, this thing's just screaming now. I mean, it's a, it's a great guitar. It's kind of hard for me to put a strap on or whatever. But this thing here resonates for a long time it's a great little guitar for the money and it was given to him so you know it's just you know a cool find i don't know i'm gonna estimate this is worth anywhere anywhere between two to three hundred fifty dollars in 2015 and uh it's, it's in it's in really good shape you know it's got some dings and stuff on it but whatever i don't care it doesn't matter to me but uh, i really like it it's got mahogany back and sides it's got a spruce top it's got a rosewood bridge rosewood fingerboard on it and uh, we did have to raise the nut. The strings were, were hitting up against the first fret. Um, and the action, we adjusted that as low as we could before they were actually hovering over the saddle. We got that neck straight. All original. So, so you, you know, when you get an old vintage guitar like this, all original. So the action might be a little higher than we would like it to be. But, uh, you know, this thing, like I said, 40, 50 years ago, they didn't have a lot of computers, you know, cutting the parts and measuring things like they do today. So... Today the guitars are monstrous, but you know, for for the, what they had back then, these are some of the best guitars, and we see them just about every other day. So it tells us something; they've proven themselves to us. So when you, whenever you get a chance, check out the Red Label Yamahas. This one is the FG 230, and uh, so you can't go wrong with if you see them at a pawn shop or something like that. Just a, it's a it's a good buy. All right, thanks guys.